Hi, my name is Laura and I'm your Jamberry Nails Consultant. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to apply Jamberry Nails. Now, first of all, you're going to need some different application tools. Um, I suggest our Jamberry Mini Heater as your heat source. Also, um, I use a pair of tweezers to grab the wrap so my fingers aren't touching it. Also, a cuticle pusher or an orange stick. Either one will work great. A nail file. Nail scissors. Um, a buffer block if you choose. Also, either an alcohol swab or rubbing alcohol. I also choose to use our Jamberry Nails uh, Strengthening Base Coat. And this helps to keep your nails strong when they're underneath the wraps. Um, they also help it to keep um, protected. And I think it gives a nice smooth surface to apply your jams to. The first thing that you want to do is prep your nails. And I've already prepped mine, but I'm just going to go ahead and run through what I would normally do. The first thing that you'd want to do is go ahead and buff your nail with a nail uh, buff, uh, buff block. <laughs> you're going to buff it out. When you're done with that, I would go ahead and take an orange stick or cuticle pusher and push back your cuticles, making sure that they're all the way pushed back. You could also use a cuticle remover as well. The next thing that I would do is go ahead and wash my hands with Dawn soap, making sure that all the oil is gone. After that, I'd go ahead and clean my nail um, with an alcohol wipe, or you could use um, rubbing alcohol on a cotton ball. And then I would apply my strengthening base coat. We also have a smoothing base coat. Both are excellent, and I will say this is one of the best things that you can use on your nails. It's really helped mine to be strong, to help the um, nails, the nail wraps adhere to my nails, and I really think it's a great product that we offer. So once you apply that and it's dried, you're gonna go ahead and take the uh, rubbing alcohol or your alcohol wipe, and you're going to clean your nail again. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and turn our mini heater on. It's very easy, there's just a little button in the back here and it will light up red to let you know that it is on. And this is very quiet. It's not loud like your hair dryer. All right. And then you're gonna take your tweezers and your scissors, and also you're gonna grab your uh, Jamberry Nails sheet of wraps. Now I've already cut this in half, but if you haven't yet, you wanna find the particular size that you're gonna use for whatever nail you're starting with. And I'm gonna need the third one in, so I've already cut that, but I'm gonna peel it up here with my tweezers. You're gonna kind of fold that plastic back and you wanna lift that up, okay? And you're gonna make sure that you don't touch it with your fingernails so that you, or your fingers, so that you avoid getting any oily residue on the back where the adhesive is. The next thing that you're going to do is hold the adhesive backside up to your heater for a few seconds until it starts to get curly like this. Then you're going to apply it right to your nail. Now I suggest applying it very lightly first. Just like that. All right, and you see it's on there nice and light. And then you're gonna rub down the center and then you can take your cuticle pusher and press it down on the sides. Very easy, very simple. If you see bubbles in there, you can smooth those out real easy. All right, I like to put it up to the heat one more time and then make sure it's nice and smooth. Now, if you have trouble with the tips of the jamberries coming up, if you use your nails, if you're real hard on them, I suggest doing one other thing here, and that is to grab onto the end and you're just gonna stretch and pull just a little bit there, and that's gonna give you a nice seal on the end. Once you've done that, you're gonna take your nail scissors and you're going to um, cut off the excess. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be filing off all of the extra. All right. And once you've done that, I like to do something called the baggy method. And this is just a personal preference, but it's also something that you could try to help keep the tips of the Jamberry nail wraps adhered to your nail for as long as possible. And what I like to do, you just wrap the nail with the plastic baggie, and this can be any Ziploc baggie. Make sure it's nice and tight, and you're gonna hold it up to the heat. 
for a few seconds. And what this does is it um, distributes the heat nice and evenly all throughout your nail. Okay? Now that you've got that done, you want to take your nail file. You're going to let it cool just a little bit. You don't want to file it when it's too hot. Okay? And you're going to file it in a downward motion. Only down, not side to side, not up and down, only down. Nice, smooth strokes downward. Excuse the screaming baby, I'm so sorry. All right, and there you go. You're going to heat it one more time. Make sure that tip is nice and sealed on there. And when you're done, you're gonna to wanna to take some of our cuticle oil. This is the best stuff ever, and it's gonna keep your nails really hydrated and keep them nice and strong. And you're gonna apply that just around your cuticles here. And you're gonna rub it in just like that. Another way to keep your nails hydrated, we have our Nourish Lotion, and this is excellent. It contains biotin, which helps to strengthen your skin and your nails. So I appreciate you guys taking a look at my video, and I hope that it has helped you. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.